Congratulations on making it to the end of this section of the course. We've covered a lot of ground already and hopefully you're starting to see how we can design our apps by adding widgets and various other items in the, the design view and then actually controlling those and making the app do something by editing the mainactivity.java file. We've seen how to add labels, how to work with buttons and how to allow text input and even edit images before we've even covered much Java code. So well done with that. And now for your first really big challenge, we're going to make a currency converter app. So I want you to make a brand new app and to have some nice sort of big image here to make it look good. And then I want you to choose two currencies that you want to convert from one to the other and then ask the user to enter the amount in one currency and then pop up as a toast the amount in the other currency. Now there's only one aspect of that that we haven't covered yet and that is converting our text input to a number and then multiplying it by whatever you need to to do the currency conversion and then converting that back to a string. Now that's by no means straightforward but I'd like to keep it as a bit of a challenge for you to try and figure out how to do it on your own. But if you get stumped, don't worry at all. That is quite a difficult process to figure out. So just jump towards the end of the video and watch how I do it. Other than that, I hope it goes well. Best of luck. All right, here we go then. So I'm going to create a new project in the usual way and I'm just going to call it Currency Converter and then everything else is the default and finish. While that's building, I'm gonna jump over to Chrome and do a Google image search for something that would be nice for our currency converter app. So a bunch of different currencies. I like the look of that one. And it's also not that big, so I don't think we'll have the problems that we had in the previous app with image size. So let's just save that in the same way as before. So right click or control click, save image as, and then I'm just gonna call it currency. There we go. Fantastic, so now let's jump back over to Android Studio and we should be ready to go with our new app. Here we go. Lovely, so I'm gonna get rid of the hello world there because I want to be working with a completely clean screen with no content whatsoever. And the first thing I'm gonna put in there is my image view. So I'm gonna put that at the top left like that. And let's import our image. So I'll find the file that I just downloaded in Finder or Explorer if you're in Windows and then copy command C or control C and then click on drawable and paste so command V or control V okay currency.jpg seems like a perfectly reasonable name so we'll click OK there and now that's imported fantastic and now I just need to take my image view and scroll down and select my image so for src or source in the drawable folder there we go currency fantastic so actually the default size of that is perfectly good for me i like how that looks and that's a, a good way of making a fairly boring app visually speaking a little bit more attractive so then let's bring in our text view And I'm going to change the text there, so let's double click. And our text is going to be enter the amount in dollars. So I'm going to do dollars to pounds. So let's make that a little bit larger. So text size. Let's try. 20 SP. Yep, that looks good to me. And then we need 
our text field. Now I'm going to choose the number field here. We want a decimal because they might want to put £3.54 or $5.56 or something like that. So I'm going to choose the decimal number type. I don't think it'll make any difference on the simulator because we use our own keyboard anyway. But it's worth thinking what type of information is the user going to be entering here and then choosing the correct type if you possibly can. Okay, and I'm just going to make that full screen, or full width, I should say. Otherwise, it looks a bit odd. There we go. I think perhaps a colon at the end of this would be good too. There we go. Great. I'm just going to move that down a touch, spread it out a little bit. And then the last thing that we need is our button. So let's drag that in. I'm going to center that. There we go. And I'm just going to double click that and change the text to convert. There we go. Lovely. The one more thing that I'll do while I'm here is change the on click method to I'm just going to call it convert. So that'll be the name of the chunk of code that we run when that button is tapped. And let's set the ID of this edit text, the text field, so that we can refer to it later. I'll call it dollar field. Okay, so now we've got the layout of our app. That looks absolutely fine. Now we need to start writing some code. So let's go over to mainactivity.java and we need to create our convert function. So as before, we want it accessible from anywhere. So we define it as public. It's not going to return anything. So void. And then we're calling it convert. It's going to be called by our button, which is a type of view. So it's going to accept one variable which is a view. And then we set up the curly brackets to put our code that we want to run when the function is called, i.e. when the button is tapped. Okay, we've got our issue that we need to import the view framework. So let's do that. Import android.view.view and then semicolon. Okay, so what are we trying to do in this method? We want to first get the value of the text that the user has entered in the box. Then we want to multiply by whatever the conversion rate is, and then we want to display that as a toast. So let's take it one step at a time and just get this value and write it to the logs for the moment. And then we can just run that and make sure that everything's working before we add anything more complicated. So we're going to create a variable which will have a type edit text. We'll call it dollar field. So the same as what we used for the ID of the text field. And we're going to want it to have a type of edit text. So we'll convert it to edit text using the parentheses. And then we're going to find it using find view by ID. And then we want to get resources. So that's r dot id dot dollar field. There we go. So acts exactly the same as what we've done before. That will create a variable called dollar field, which will be equal to our text field. And we'll be able to get the value for that. So for now, as I say, we're just going to print the value to the logs. So we use log. Dot I for information and then I'm going to have dollar field as the title of my log entry and then we want to get the value of dollar field so hopefully you remember we use dollar field dot get text 
and then we need to convert that to a string so it's displayable so to string and then semicolon okay let's run that then and we should find that that displays whatever the user types into that field in the logs notice it's imported the log framework for us automatically when we type the log command very useful so let's choose the running device and we'll use that device for all launches of this app let's take a look so here's our new app fantastic we're looking good so let's say we want 3.12 we tap convert and there it is dollar field 3.12 fantastic now this is where things get a little bit tricky because we have to actually do the conversion so first of all let's just figure out what the conversion rate is so you can type into Google one dollar in pounds or something like that and it will give you the conversion rate so 0 0.65 great so that's what we're going to have to multiply by to go from dollars to pounds so jumping back over now this is the bit that we haven't covered before so you may well have done everything else and then jumped to this bit in the video and that's perfectly fine we need to convert this dollar field value to not a string this time but a number so that we can actually do some calculations with it and there are various different number types and the one I'm going to use is called a double so don't worry too much about this point about what a double is essentially it allows us to store a decimal that's all we need to know for now and in the next section we'll find out in a lot more detail what a double is of course you can google it now if you want to find out and spoil the surprise but otherwise we'll just use double to create our variable and this is going to be our amount in dollars so I'm going to call it dollar amount and then that's going to be equal to dollar field again dot get text but we're not going to convert it to a string this time we want to convert it to a double and we do that using the pass double command so that's double dot pass double and we need a string to put into that so finally we convert that to a string so just to clarify what's going on there we're taking the dollar field value the value that the user has entered we're converting it to a string and then we're converting that to a double using the double dot pass double method so hopefully that makes sense don't don't expect to understand the whole thing we're at a very early stage in the course here but as long as that overall makes sense to you then great so now we need to convert that into pounds so let's create another double I'll call it pound amount and that's going to be equal to the dollar amount multiplied by the conversion rate which you may remember I found to be 0 0.65 now obviously this isn't going to be a particularly useful currency converter app because this amount changes and we'll see later on in the course how to download this amount from the internet so it's actually live and correct all the time but for now we're just going to keep it as a simple number so there's our pound amount and as you might guess I'm going to log it first before we create our toast just to make sure that everything's working correctly so all I need to do is get rid of this dollar field dot get text and then type pound amount and then convert that to a string so that we can put it in the logs so let's run that and make sure it works I'm going to give you another quick recap about what's actually going on here so that first line hopefully we're fairly familiar with we're creating an edit text variable which is equal to the dollar field field that we created earlier then we're getting the value of that dollar field we're converting it to a string and then we're converting that to a double which is a type of number 
and we're setting that equal to the variable dollar amount. Then we're taking the variable dollar amount, multiplying it by 0.65 to get our conversion to get our pound amount. And then finally, for the moment, we're writing to the logs. Oh, I should really update that to pound amount. It's only temporary, so it doesn't really matter, but that's what it is, pound amount, and then pound amount dot to string. So we take the pound amount and convert that back to a string so that we can log it. So let's take a look. So let's keep it very simple. First of all, if we've got $1, we convert that to 0 0.65. Fantastic. It hasn't obviously updated my change there. I don't really mind about that. And if we put $100 in, then it's £65. Absolutely seems to be working fine. Great. So the last thing then is to create our toast so that the user can actually see the result. So you remember toast.maketext. And then the context is get application context. There we go. And then the text that we want to use, I'm going to have a pound symbol like that. And then a plus. And then I want to use pound amount. And I'm going to need to convert that to a string. And finally, we need to decide how long we want that to display for. I'm going to use toast dot length long and then dot show there we go so let's get rid of the log because we don't need that anymore and get rid of the log framework as well wonderful so just a quick recap on what's actually happened there for one last time we've created our variable dollar field which is equal to our dollar field text field and then we've got our dollar amount, which has a type of double, and that's taking our dollar field, getting the text from it, converting that to a string, and then converting that to a double, which is a type of number. Then we're taking our dollar amount, multiplying it by 0.65 to do the conversion, and then setting that equal to the variable pound amount, which is also a double, i.e. a type of number. And then finally, we're using the toast make text command to show a bit of information to the user. We're setting the context as the main application context, so that's get application context. Then we're displaying a pound sign and then the pound amount converted to a string. We're displaying that for the long length of time, which is about five seconds or so, and then we're showing it. All right, here goes. Let's take a look. So let's choose $80 and convert. And that's 52 pounds. Looks just about right to me. Fantastic. Just try one more. $1,000, 650 pounds. Bang on. Okay. I hope you enjoyed making that app and I hope you managed to do at least most of it yourself, if not the whole thing. In the next chapter, as I've said, we're going to dive much deeper into Java and figure out exactly what's going on with all these commands and how we can do much more powerful things than the little bit of coding that we've done so far. Now will be a good time to take a break, have a cup of tea, think about how much you've learned, and then jump straight on to section three.